Okay, we are back with the Call of Duty 2. We're picking up where we left off. We have to repair the uh, the wire. If I'm not mis, I think the the goal of this repair, like the uh, this communication wire, might be a reference to the movie. I think it's called Enemy at the Gate. It's been a while since I've seen it. Something to do with enemies and gates. It's a reference to. Uh, it's a reference to... Well, I mean, the movie is about the Battle of Stalingrad, which is indeed what we're participating in right now, Run. I thought Chip was Run, but it's not. And I remember once seeing the movie, there was a part where there was the, t the wire, the telephone, phone wire thing. And then that needed to be, like, repaired, and it was either the Germans or the Russians that needed to repair it. It was either their wire, and they had... Uh, like a prisoner from the other side. So if it was a, you know, if it was the Germans that needed to do it, they had a Russian. But it might have been the Russians, and they had a German. I can't remember. And then they had the prisoner dressed up in their uniform, and, and forced him to run out and do it. And he got sniped by his own one of his own people. I can't, I can't remember. I think that's what this is might be in reference to. Seems like in the Call of Duty series in general, there are quite a few references to that movie. In Stalingrad. This just kind of seems like it. There's a guy way back there on that gun. And there's a guy on that gun too. Actually, he doesn't have as good of aim as he would when he's in freaking last stand. Oh, no. Alright, we're good. We're good. Alright, uh. Who's shooting me now? It sounds like a PPSA. I think that's my guy shooting. What the heck was that? Did somebody kill him? Yeah, there we go. I don't even know whose grenade that was. That grenade like landed in the middle of the battlefield, so it was it really could have been either side and just somebody with a really bad arm. Probably would have been me throwing that grenade. This is real life. Oh, run, run. oh, I can't get behind there. I can't get behind there. Just start spraying prey, spraying prey, spraying prey. All right, we're good. We're good. I thought I thought I would be able to. Uh, weave my way behind there in that corner, but I couldn't. That was almost bad. They're all dead. Ah. Repair that. Uh, there's somebody up here. And up there. And that guy, he's dead. Too bad I can't do... put this, the uh, PPSH into a semi-auto mode like I could in Call of Duty 1. A bunch of the guns in COD 1 and the uh, expansion for it had the ability to, uh, Alternate rates of fire, either between semi-auto and full-auto. That was the most like the Thompson and the PPSH and a few of the other guns. Like the FG or the they had a Sturmgewehr and the FG42. Pretty sure all those had the ability to. Ah, oh, oh, yeah, I can't remember. There's a German propaganda going on. That's the guy right there. I think so. If I can hit him, there we go. But a bunch of the guns, you could change the rate of fire. I like doing that, especially with a PPSH, because it was pretty much just like a 71 round pistol at that point. It was pretty cool. I you run around just spraying with like a pistol, not wasting ammo. It was, it was pretty nice. I liked it. Like, the Thompson single shot was pretty cool. Oh my god, I thought that thing was down below me. I saw the grenade, and I thought it was below me. Oh well, that why I run up here. Ow. Alright, take two, because I died completely stupidly. That was not a smart death. Did I repair that one down there? Yeah, okay. Okay, so spray down there. Well then, keep that. Well then, what the heck? Melee him, and then you die. Good job. Alright. Okay, who else? Who else? You didn't die yet. That's not good. All right, now maybe he's dead. Yes. Again, that. All right, we're charging. We're clear. We're clear. That's one thing that I miss in uh in Call of Duty One to Call of Duty Two. And the other thing that I miss is the other thing that I miss is the ability to have a third weapon. That third weapon was a pistol. 
Like, in, in this one, if you want to pick up a pistol, you have to swap out one of your two main weapons. But in the first Call of Duty, you could you had your two main weapons. So you have these two guns and then a pistol as well. So essentially, you carry three weapons. I like that. I kind of... I heard a grenade, yeah, grenade land. Alright. Just do that. There we go. I do miss that. I like, I like having the ability to pull out a pistol. To me, because I, I kind of like pistols in games. Like, I find them fun to use. Oh no. Duck. Wait for that thing to blow if you got saved in. Oh my god. Oh my god, the smoke's not working. Back up. Let's try another one over there. Okay, slowly but surely. Okay, way down. All right, we can just do that again, I guess. All right, it's clearing up. No, 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 no. Get down. We got, it. we got another one. All right, move up again. There we go. There we go. Just chuck one more grenade down there for good measure. I, I could have sworn you were able to cook grenades in this one, but I guess not. I guess that comes in in Call of Duty 3. That was very... Oh my god. That was very an anti-climactic spray. There was a group of them there. I just started kind of spraying with my rifle and did absolutely nothing. Alright, get in this building. There we go. It's like, kill him! She got shot or something. She was like, ah! He's dead. Oh no. Oh yes, I have true pain. Ah. 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 Oh man. PPSH is probably one of the best guns in the entire Call of Duty series. I love this thing. It is great. Oh no, that's a guy. That's an enemy. Definitely, definitely one of mine. Just because that's such a massive clip size. Uh, somebody was up there. And up there. Alright, can any of my allies kill the guy behind the barrel, please? Oh my word. Oh my word! <laughs> okay, run. Just hide. Oh, I just. I'm pretty sure that was my grenade that killed him. Okay, we're running low on ammo for this. That's not good. However, he did have, uh. Yes, H ammo, so. It wasn't all bad. There we go. He's not dead. There we go. Are you kidding me? Rip, that was, that was a complete... That, was, that, that couldn't have been anything other than a headshot. I domed him, and he just gets back up from it. I thought that only happened in... Like, Halo or something. Where you shoot a guy in the head, they won't get up. Apparently in this game, you can shoot enemies in the head. With a high-powered rifle, no doubt. Not the highest-powered rifle, but still relatively high-powered. And that example of right there, I just ran in this room spraying is funny. Oh, I love the PTSH. Oh no, no, no! I didn't like just keep back with that. Jeez. Ooh! Never mind. Give me that thing. Heck yeah. Okay. You guys, yeah, you're bad guys. Bam! Yeah, that was a miss. That was a miss. That was a miss. Alright. You... There we go. Maybe I should be uh, using the thing to steady my shot. Never mind. Alright, let's reload and we'll, we'll, we'll try this again. We'll also just spray down there with this guy. Okay, well, that looked a little bit better, I think. Got our guys to charge. Fortunately, they're all getting mowed down. I'm providing what cover I can. Looks like they got most of them, though. Alright, that works. And you're way back there. Ow! Okay. These guys are really good at dodging. I mean, ducking right when they're about to shoot. Maybe they're screen watching. Ow. Okay, let's see if I can get a grenade through there without. Screw oh my word! Oh! Uh, oh no! No, 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 no! Oh man, that guy, like. Secret Service. My. I thought I went too far. I got like Secret Service my grenade though. Like in the process of throwing the grenade, he just kind of 
jumped in front of it and it fucking the back of it. Okay, anyone else? He's over there. Okay, we can handle him. Got a sniper rifle. <laughs> oh my word. Alright, alright, alright. Not good. Okay, here we go. Anyone else? I think, yeah, you're still alive. And you're, I think you're still alive, yeah. <laughs> Drop the stupid pistol, bub. Get out of last one. What was that? Oh, this gun! I've never actually used this gun. I mean, this gun does have an alternate rate of fire, I know that. Or at least I think. I've never used this gun because I've always had the PPSA. I just use that thing because that thing... I like that thing a lot more, except I didn't really know that. I never used this gun before, actually. How do I change modes? Is it N? Yeah, it's, that was M. Looks like it has a mode change, at least. Ow, no! No! Uh, only the dead have seen the end of war. That's just Alright, uh, I need to get back in here. Good job. Is that a second guy back there that was like... Literally standing right beside him to pick up the, uh... I'm not dead. There we go. Are you shooting me now? Somebody down here? No, some guy in the MG. There we go. There's a third guy in the MG. Okay. There's a guy right there. There we go. That's probably who killed me last time. And there's someone else. Where? I do not know. Are they down here, maybe? I'm pretty sure... I'm, yeah, there he is. He blends in, kind of. Oh, well. Let's see. Uh, let's grab this gun again and use it a little bit more. See if I like it. it stairs over here, I remember that. Alright. Seems like it drops them pretty fast. Actually, this is a pretty good gun. I like this gun. Down the stairs here. Yeah, you're not throwing a grenade. That was what you were trying to do. You're not getting back up to shoot me with your pistol either. I just want to make sure that you didn't pull the pin on the grenade. It wasn't going to blow up and kill me. Oh, no. yeah, that actually worked out. No, it didn't. Drop the pistol, mate. Throw that down there. Did that guy have a? I thought I saw a storm debris on the ground, but maybe not. No grenade for you. Pretty sure I saw him have a grenade in his hand. Apparently, I wasn't supposed to shoot that raid.